you Pokemon trainers. Holy cow, the Cancel Tour event details have finally been released. We finally know what's going to happen, how we're going to get Shiny Mew. It looks awesome. All right, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to this video, welcome to this channel. If you're new here, we do a lot of Pokemon Go news, recaps, tips and tricks. We do Animal Crossing, we do Sword and Shield, all sorts of stuff. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested. I appreciate it so much. And of course, let me know down in the comments if you're ready for the Kanto event, if you're stoked. I'm so excited. I hope you all are too. What team are you picking? Okay, let's get into this. These details are finally out and this event looks like so much fun. So as you know, this event, the Kanto tour is right around the corner. I'm filming this on February 9th, which means it's only 11 days away. If you haven't purchased your ticket yet, you have until February 20th at 7 p.m. to purchase that ticket. You'll be able to choose what team you wanna be on, red or green. It's gonna require a trade with friends. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so let's go over some of these details. Of course, the main thing I think everyone is most excited about, including me, is the availability of a guaranteed shiny Mew. Now we know from the previous blog months back that this research that we were going to get was going to be hard to earn and then hard to complete. So shiny Mew is gonna be kind of rare, even though getting the research is going to guarantee a shiny Mew. Okay, so to start, we're gonna be working alongside Professor Willow to learn more about each of the Pokemon that are from the Kanto region. As typical for our conversations with Professor Willow, we'll be giving clues. I'm sure he'll be seeing things out in the wild that we're gonna to have to help him figure out. Oh, okay, and at the end of the research alongside Professor Willow, that is when we will encounter our shiny Ditto. So let's pause on the Mew talk for a second. Here we are with shiny Ditto. And if I'm reading this correctly, that means shiny Ditto is guaranteed. So it looks like based on the way this is worded, that is going to be a decently simple research to complete. So that's awesome. Guaranteed shiny ditto for the Kanto tour event and other reason to purchase this ticket. Okay, let's rewind. Back to Shiny Mew. So after completing the Pokemon Go Tour special research, you will then unlock a new research called Masterwork Research. Okay, the name in itself is kind of scary. This isn't gonna be easy, y'all. It will take determination and skill to complete. One of the tasks on the first page is going to be finding all the Kanto Pokemon and earning the Kanto Platinum Medal. Now for a lot of us, we probably maybe already have the Kanto Platinum Medal. But either way, it looks like this is separate from catching all 150 Pokemon. Originally, the details, it seemed like we were going to have to catch all 151 Pokemon during the event. This suggests maybe that's not the case. So as far as the Mew research goes, it looks like you just have to complete the Kanto Pokedex. Next up, you'll have to reach level 40, catch 30 Pokemon of each type, spin 151 unique Poke stops and walk 151 kilometers. So now don't forget, if you do unlock this research, this research will stay. So as long as you achieve opening the research, this will be here for a long time. So if you're a lot lower than level 40, you don't have to worry about this. This will stay until you complete it. So yeah, they weren't kidding. This research is going to take a while. 151 kilometers and 151 unique Poke stops. Hopefully that means unique Poke stops will start from scratch and that the ones in your local area that you have already spun thousands of times, hopefully those won't be excluded. But I don't know for sure. Crossing our fingers that we get to start from scratch on that uniqueness. Something tells me though, probably not. Anyway, so those are the tasks that will reward you an encounter with Shiny Mew. Guaranteed Shiny Mew. I wonder who in the community is gonna be the first one to get Shiny Mew. Post in the comments what Pokemon trainer you think is going to be the first one to get Shiny Mew. Is it gonna be Fleece King, first player to hit level 50? Who's it gonna be? All right, now let's get into some details for the event in itself. There's going to be 10 different collection challenges during this event. And half of those are going to be based on how you'll find and collect Pokemon during the event. So there's gonna be red trade and red incense, green trade and green incense, raids, research, and evolves. So let's talk about the trade versus incense. So depending on the team that you pick, that will be the incense collection challenge you will have. So if you're on the red team, you're going to have the red incense collection challenge. If you're on the green team, you'll have the green incense collection challenge. So the different Pokemon from each of those different teams will be the Pokemon that spawn on incense, which will be in that collection. And then it's going to work the other way for trading. 
So for example, if you are on the red team, you're going to need to trade with a friend that's on the green team to complete the green trade collection challenge. Hopefully that makes sense. And then the other collection challenges are going to be relevant to the original towns in the Kanto region from the original games. This is awesome. So we're gonna see Pallet Town, Pewter City, Cerulean City, Fuchsia City, and then the Pokemon League. All of those collection challenges will be available through February 28th at 7.59 p.m. local time. So this is gonna cut us off. We don't even get to go to 8 p.m. Also note, Pokemon hatched from eggs or shadow Pokemon collected from grunts don't count. So should we even be bothering with eggs during this event? So now the way this is going to work, it looks like it's gonna be pretty similar to events that we've had in the past, like Go Fest events, some different special Pokemon events where they split the different tasks and types of Pokemon up into different time periods. So we're gonna have five different location themed hours. And during those hours, Pokemon from the corresponding collection challenge groups will be spawning and we will get each location theme twice. And then the last two hours of the event are gonna be a complete free for all where all of the Pokemon are going to be appearing. So all of the following times are local time. So no conversion needed. Starting at 9 a.m., as you can see here, 9 to 10 a.m. will be Pallet Town, 10 to 11 a.m. will be Pewter City, 11 to 12 will be Cerulean City, 12 to one will be Fuchsia City, and then one to two will be Pokemon League. Those will repeat. And then from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., complete free for all, all the Pokemon from previous hours. So be prepared for an all day grind. Snacks, water, lunches, I don't know. Maybe you'll be at home. Ooh, and this is something I was just about to say I wish would happen. Each hour will feature music inspired by the original game, curated by the original Pokemon soundtrack composer, Jinichi Masuda. Don't forget to turn up your audio. Holy cow, y'all, this is gonna be so nostalgic. Okay, so those details sound so fun. I am so excited for this event. The original town collection challenges are gonna be so much fun. I'm trying to even remember what specific Pokemon Pokemon were in what town. <laughs> okay, so that is all we have to say about this event. That Mew research is gonna be definitely a challenge, but again, make sure that you are teamed up with people who are on the opposite team from you. If you are watching this and you need more friends within 40 kilometers of you, please feel free to drop your trainer code down in the comments along with the city that you live in and the team that you have chosen. Let's all help each other out here. I have a little bit of friend space too, so I might be able to add a few people if anybody needs help in the Portland, Oregon area. But I wanna make sure that we all get that shiny Mew. Again, if anybody has heard otherwise about the details that I talked about and the assumptions that I've made in this video, definitely let me know. That being said, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Good luck to all of you on this Canto Tour event. It's gonna be one of the best of the year. And I guess I'll see all of you out there in Pallet Town. Godspeed, go catch them all everyone.